Repression in Venezuela intensifying ahead of elections. Rights groups say fears Maduro government is trying to shut down scrutiny after lawyer is arrested. And an human rights office shut down human rights groups are calling for the Venezuelan government to halt a crackdown on civil society after it jailed a prominent lawyer and then banished the unhuman rights office from Caracas for criticizing her arrest. The arrest of the 57-year-old lawyer and military expert Rocio San Miguel has shocked observers, who say Venezuela is entering a darker phase of state oppression intended to crush government. Opposition in the lead-up to elections expected later this year. When the Unhuman Rights Office criticized San Miguel's detention, the government ordered its staff to leave the country within 72 hours. The expulsion of the Unhigh Commissioner and his office is the latest attempt from the government to isolate itself from international scrutiny on its human rights record, said Valentina Bolesto, Amnesty International's researcher for South America. The international community must not give up on shining a spotlight on this issue. San Miguel was arrested at an airport outside Caracas on 9 February as she was about to fly to Miami on holiday with her daughter. Her family were given no information of her whereabouts for two days until they were informed that she had been put on trial for allegedly plotting to kill the Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro. Minus one members of her family, including two ex-partners, were also detained by police. San Miguel's family say she has not been allowed to appoint a lawyer to defend her against the allegations. Limiting the right to legal defense was already common practice in Venezuela, says Gonzalo Himiop, a lawyer and a founding member of Foro Penal, an ENGO, that tracks political prisoners. Now there is this new practice of completely isolating the detainees from their families and lawyers to impede any defense, the Venezuelan government has often used state institutions, particularly the courts and intelligence agencies, to silence critics since the country's economic collapse accelerated in 2014. Maduro and other senior Venezuelan officials have been accused by the Young Human Rights Council of committing crimes against humanity, including torture, kidnapping and extrajudicial killings. With elections on the horizon, the government has begun using a more alarming strategy to throttle civic space, rights groups say, as well as allegedly using trumped-up terrorism charges to jail critics. The state is reportedly also rounding up their friends and family members. In one case, a woman was tortured and given a 30-year sentence for simply sharing a taxi with someone accused of plotting against the government. The repression may have become more selective, but it is also growing more severe, Himiab said. Allegations of conspiracy were accompanied by an intense and systematic state media campaign. According to Himiab, 